They managed to get his uh, Stalker's Blade now, so we'll get a bit more gold. Ooh. And Diamond, he's still in the bottom lane. Yep, Huni is in some trouble, though. This could be first blood, and it is. It goes to Diamond. And this one-on-one uh, -on -one for Gambit now. Kabushalo, the wave out, you reset it, you bounce it back from the tower, and you force the flash from Kabushalo. Eddie now roaming from this top lane. Oh, they're gonna oh, look for Raidover. Oh, the flash play! And Raidover is just trying to take the fight, but Diamond has too much HP, and Edward is going to help him get the kill here. Nearly going down, Diamond a little bit low. Goody, well. the equalizer is down, but he doesn't realize how many people were right there, and Nick is gonna take him. That is a two-kill advantage, even further over Fnatic. Back over to Fnatic, but Huni incredibly safe. He puts that other oh, big top careful. here, but wait a minute. Kabushard had no idea. Rainover was on his way. Equalizer's thrown down, but it's not going to connect. Huni, very low. Kabushard wants to find the kill, but he turns around, and Rainover is going to duel him down. Fnatic with their first kill of the game. And I'm not really sure what happened here. They saw Rainover because of the ward placed by Time. Right into a pink, but Eddie is there with the hook. Is there follow-up available? Not quite yet. Nick is making his way, but Yellowstar's gonna throw down the Solar Flare. Rainover actually might ball. be trying to fight. There's a teleport coming in for Huni. Nick is extremely low, but so is Rainover. Pops his ultimate Kabba Shard. Deathmark is on him for Bivin going forward. This is a very messy fight from both teams, but Rainover has to be careful. Diamond as well. Chilling Smite is down. They don't connect on the second one. Rainover oh. hooked up. Diamond picks up the kill, and wait a minute. It's starting to turn around. Shutdown for Fabibin. Cabo Shard is going down, and Eddie tries to get the Lantern save, but just too late. It's a two-for-one for Fnatic. Yeah, two-for-one. I believe actually Fabibin is signed. It's not the first time he's had to do oh, it. And actually, Nicko. he could be in some trouble. He's got it available right now, but there is a three-man gang squad on him. How long can he last? Not very. Fabibin takes him down as Eddie tries to make the save, and he does not get the flash where he was going. No idea why he did that one. Rainover says, that's fine. I'll take another. And this time here, Fnatic. Blue Diamond's in some serious trouble too, but Rainover a little bit too low to contest this now that Kaba Shard's made his way. They might have to give up this blue, but Vivian is around. Kaba Shard instead is looking for blood. Meanwhile, Pinoy's in some trouble. Rainover, he's got to be dead after this. Yes, he will be. Pinoy picking right now. Can Fnatic yeah, react safe. to it in time though? It Looks is, like no. It's safe. I mean, Rainover's already dead, remember. So the dragon will go over to Gambit. Got a kill on a dragon. Had to trade it for a tower to move in and try to make a dive here. Huni going a little bit forward. There is the Solar Flick. Kabo Shard. oh no! He's going to get his Counter-Strike off. Actually leaps backwards, but there is way too much damage here. And Fabivin picks up a spree kill now. 3-0-2. Oh, and, and this is why Fnatic also loves to play base. But he has fallen behind in the laning phase and Fabivin has been able to roam. So wasn't really any pressure from Nick in that case. Oh, no, I, yep. One he before. could go that way and he might not live very long. No, thank you, Huni picks him up, but he is hooked in by Eddie, and they have to be very careful here not to overcommit. Diamond gonna try to make the play. Rainover trapped inside the Cataclysm. Huni gonna throw down the Equalizer. Rainover's done. The flag on top of his head. Huni is hooked in. Can they make an extra kill? Not quite enough damage. Yellow Star bodyguarding for this one, and steel bashing. And you also see, again, Gambit giving up the Dragon. You don't want a team fight. Instead, you have actually Pinoy and Diamond going straight. Ready to help. What made the dive on Huni? Kabashar doesn't really give a hoot about the KDA. He's gonna try to make the play anyways. They jump on Huni. Here comes Diamond the smite. You just walk to the spot on lane. There's no wards in the jungle. Oh, Yellow Star's here though. though. They're gonna focus Kabashar quite well. And actually, Zenith Blade gonna connect. They smite him down, but he's gonna be able to flash out of this one. Rocket still is connecting. Running. Do they have the chase? They're not even going to look for Diamond. Nick is coming to the rescue. Do they have enough to save him? Wild Growth, he stays alive. The chase is still on. Now they turn their attention over to Nick Rainover though, eating quite a lot of damage. The shield comes out for Nick. Can he be saved? They just turned targets, and what was that? Massive kill. Pinoy and Edward come up with another oh, no, one. Nick though is in some trouble. Steal back. All right, how that one worked out? Yeah, he sees both of them, and Eddie flashing in, and then he actually thinks he can just assassinate Pinoy, dancing around, dodging actually quite a lot of the damage. Also the shuriken in the very end, and stays alive. Ah, kill secured. Double shield as well from Eddie. Lantern yeah, and obviously push hard now because he's just every single time he gets a chance running over and trying to push down towers. Yellow Star going to combine oh, up with steel back on Nick, well. but yeah, teleports coming in. Whoa, Nick went nowhere. All the same, they could start this bare enough, but they're going to give up a tower for it at the very least. Cabo Shard, completely unperturbed by this, is pushing in with a minion wave. Gambit trying to react. The Baron has been started. And it's going low pretty quickly. Let's see if they can contest this while well, we see Kabashar pushing in the bottom side. Pinoy, Deathmark was on him, won't be enough to take him down. Turret goes down, still pushing right now. The Baron is low, but Diamond is here. This will be a smite Three fight. Let's Teleport, well. teleport, they've got the ward. They're gonna turn the fight. Can they make the play here? It looks like Diamond going incredibly low, but Yellowstar goes down. They manage to answer back onto Diamond. Here comes Kabashar, can he pick Rain over? Not quite, he's gonna take down Kabashar himself, and it is a two for one trade.
But, but no did, Baron. Did manage to stop. join at the team fight, and also in case you just get a one on one against the Riven, you want to have that armor stacked up. Dragon's going low here, but Eddie is looking for an in, and he can't quite get it. Rainover goes hooked for a second, but yeah. half health. He's still not got the teleport, oh, so gone. yeah, Fnatic's going to be able to pick this one up. No problem. Down it goes. And that's the thing, Fnatic again playing around the lack of teleport from Copper Shot. You had the bottom lane pushing up. And that's why it to the head. Although Diamond wants to make Rainover pay for that one inside the cage, the Solar Flare's down. Every member of Gamma is starting to go very low. As Steelback picks up the kill, Huni throws down a very, very big equalizer. Gambit forced to back away. Only one kill so far, but it's Pinoy. Yeah, Rainover really isn't the guy you want to engage. Dragon is live, and Fnatic are in hot pursuit for it. Yeah, they're gonna take it here. No response from Gambit. That's a mistake. Gambit, it's dangerous to try and check this, but they've got to give them, or stop giving them so much for free. Oh. Squishier target, but that's not saying much. I don't think they're going to be able to burst him down. And also, Mooney and Steel back there to turn it around. The bailout, oh, they were able to try it, but Eddie is going to get locked up for just a second, having to flash away. Equalizer thrown down, and now Fnatic sensing blood here. Kabushard jumps into the middle of it all. Huni, Zanya's Hourglass, big wild breath on Kabushard. Collateral damage, Pinoy trying to make the difference. Rainover, though, picks up Edward, and he's 1v2ing now. Here comes Fabivin. Wait, it's a little bit too late for Rainover. Huni already down as well to two for two. Kabushard looking to try to make a different time. Extremely low. Yellow Star picks it up with the Eclipse, and there they go. It ends up over really just front manning for this Fnatic squad. But Kabushar, there we go. The chase is on. Nick is already at half health, and he gets pulled to relative safety. But now Diamond's in some trouble. Wild Growth is on, but the Death Mark is down as well. But Vivin with the chase, and that's going to be a pickup on a Diamond. Didn't have to wait for Teleport. Instead, just managed to get a pick. Nick is going back to base as well. This should be a Baron for Fnatic once again. It might be and Colby was still, because they've been so far Ooh. ahead in items all game long. Fabivin a little bit strong. low from that one. They ran into Nick and Pinoy, but Nick is gone. Fabivin with the damage. Six and one on that Zed, and Pinoy in full retreat. That's not over uh oh, yet wait there. a minute. Kabushard comes on in and wait. Still quite a big shutdown there. Pinoy manages to get it, but he's not going to live either. Rainover will grab him, and Eddie goes down a double kill. Goes to Rainover three. He's just been in favor of Fnatic, and Kabushard hasn't been able to scale up in time. Rainover, though, left a little bit. And he's on going his own a little here. bit. Uh, High fee in here. Can he take the 1v2? He's about to get some assistance and maybe he can sustain out. Yellow Star is here. The teleport from Huni. They throw down the equalizer as well. And Diamond trying to bail up, but Yellow Star follows him all the way. And Huni takes him down. Again, they can't even get picks properly at this point, and they've got the scaling composition, but just not quite working. It's not done yet. Cabo Shark looking for Rainover extremely low. There's the Leona ultimate. Nick is in some trouble, and it looks like he's going down. Huni with another one. And they're starting to push on an hip turret. Yeah, it should be a tower now from Fnatic. Opening up the base here, Eddie. And yep. the hook. Instant QSS from Fabivin. Yeah, no problems at all. They're not too worried as much about that one. But they may be worried about Kabushard here. Starting to shove them off. Edward trying to flay them back into the team. But Fabivin, Huni, and Yellowstar still a force to be reckoned with. Benoit has to back away from this one. Hook only going to connect on a minion. And that will be the first inhibitor for Fnatic. Benoit this game, actually. Killing his first attack speed item now. Just went full attack damage, full focus on doing as much damage with his abilities. Getting the armor penetration, getting the BT obviously for as much attack damage as possible. Wow, Kabushar. Yep, Yellow Star going on in, Diamond and Kabushar trying to blow someone up. But Vivin is that target. It's Pinoy that gets the shutdown, but they've already lost a tower. Rainover pushing on forward, turns his attention to the inhibitor. Two inhibitors down now. Gambit's base in shambles. Kabushar trying to stay alive, but there are so many minions here. For Vivin with his ability, but uh, she managed to stay alive, and a dragon as well for Gambit. Yeah, they pick one up, so they get a little bit back for them and deny the fourth one. But Diamond may not be so lucky. Rainover's going to find him. There we go, flag and drag. A little bit delayed, but they've still got to get back and defend base here. You're missing two inhibitors, and... Huni goes down, Pinoy managed to gang squad him up. There we go, Yellow Star though finds Nick and a killing spree goes to him. Eddie going down as well. Steelback coming up with that one. Diamond now in some trouble, but he jumps in. Cabo Shard, Counter-Strike, not enough. They blow up Pinoy, it's a double kill for Steelback. Getting focused down by Cabo Shard and he will go down, but Cabo Shard is still in trouble himself. Rainover and Yellow Star should have enough damage, but he's gonna leap away. Still blinking health bars and they're the only ones still up. Their base is in shambles right now and it looks like Bevin is coming in, Counter-Strike, can he leap away? Yes, he can, but Yellow Star still Every looking for him. Diamond now is going to go down very, very slow. The death timers are high. Kabushard's still here, but can he fend off this entire Fnatic team, or at least three of them? <laughs> 
I think three is enough from Fnatic here. They're going straight for him. Oh, here we go. Death Mark. They are going to find the damage here. Cobble Shard once again forced to retreat back, and he's down. That's the ace for Fabivin. Now, is there enough time? Eddie's coming up in four seconds. One Nexus turret is down. Looks like it's about to be two. Fnatic might just be on their way to a 4 0 start in the LCS Spring Split of 2015, and it looks like they are. GG. Such a good start.